Last question, Tay. Mm-hmm. This Saturday, Tifima Lopez, mm-hmm. Josh Taylor. Mm-hmm. This should be for like the undisputed, but Josh Taylor yeah. vacated his belts. Yeah, which, but, which I, I, you know, I scoff at a little bit, but I don't know. Like at, at the end of the day, when you get them belts, some sanctioned bodies want money and everything. Yeah, like them sanctioned that. fees. So, yeah, I, I, I just rough. seen the interview with Andre Ward was like, yo, <laughs> them yeah. sanctioned fees. I wish I had some of that back. Yeah, that's why uh, Floyd ain't care nothing about the belts because they keep hitting him. You know, his name is what carried everything. But yeah, they hit three percent of thirty million is yeah, a lot of fucking a lot of money. money. <laughs> exactly. People say it like that ain't yeah, that's something. So you got to kick it out. It's almost a mill. So yeah. Um, it's a good fight. Um, I want to say a great fight. Uh, both came off a of lackluster performances. You see what I'm saying? That's, and, and that's boxing. Sometimes you get up, sometimes you don't. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll both get up for each other because it's almost a make or break fight between the both of them. Um, I think Josh Teller is, he's skilled, but he gets hit a little bit too much from him. He's got some slickness to him and everything, but there's a point in the fight, in every fight where you do, he just feel like he wants to go in and he gets touched a little bit too much. Tio's not the guy to get touched against. Um, he can really crack. His power translate up, um, and he's got them fast switch muscles and everything like that. Uh, T.O. is more of an enigma. Um, you don't know what T.O. you're going to get. You don't know if you're going to get the one against uh, against Martin. You see what I'm saying? Or you're going to get the one you got against Loma. Mm. Um, you're not sure who you're going to get. But if you get the one that you got against Loma, it's going to be a nice night. It's going to be a real nice night. Like, the kid is still growing. The kid is still learning. Um, he's got balls also. You see what I'm saying? He's got a big heart. And he's got an ego to him. And that ego means something, you see what I'm saying? Because he wants to put on, it's the big stage, it's in front of somebody, it's it's somebody that's a high-level guy, and it's for the belts. So I think he wants to get that back in there. Now, Josh Taylor's the bigger man. Josh Taylor's a huge 140. He is. Teal is, you know, 135 that moved up to 40. Right. Will this will the size play a role in this fight? Um, slightly. And like the in the clinches, I think it'll play a role. Um I don't think it translates into punching power that much because Josh Taylor isn't a huge puncher. He's got respectable power. Um, T.O. is more of a huge puncher, um, at best respectable power. So I don't think from a, a punching standpoint it'll make too much of a difference, but from the, the clinching and the muscling and the wearing down and stuff like that, depending on how much of that it is, I think it'll make a difference that way. Who do you want to see the winner face next? Um, next, I want Regis Progress. Um, I think Regis Progress has been in line uh, to get, you know, a, a good shot or whatever like that. He had one shot, um, came a little bit short, but, you know, he put on really well for it like that. I think I think Regis, um, or Reg, it's Regis, right? Regis Progress. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying his name yeah. wrong. But, yeah, uh, I, th- I think he's the next in line for that. I think they, uh, whoever he fights, would it be an exciting fight. Um, the one thing you know about him is he won't bring it every time. So, I think it's a good fight. Okay.